Good afternoon, London News, Dr. Barry, Melbourne. A number of people, including my wife, said, why do you bother doing these videos? Because only a few people watch them. Well, the reason I do it, because those few people who do watch them are awake. And furthermore, a large number of people here in Australia, around the world, have given up their freedom for freedom. They're not sitting back and going, "Keep be right, mate. No, they, they do something about it, whether it's against the law or not. Well, that's another word, right? The age of reason. Seven years old, we're supposed to reach the age of reason. My question is, when do we lose it? Because 99.12 or 3 of the adults, the human beings, the men and women, or the persons, better still persons, because the persons are walking around as walking dead. Now, I've had umpteen conversations, like some of you guys there who are watching this now, they're awake, as they say. Know that you're wasting your time because these people are nothing more than the walking dead. And I've stopped calling them sheep because sheep are a lovely animal, smarter than these walking dead in some cases. They haven't argued with the fact that nature has changed them. They're still producing which they're here on the earth to do. Human beings, well, how many angles have they got? Yes, the age of reason and the adults, which I now refer to as the walking dead, have drank a lot of fluoride. And we all know that fluoride in the water has a, it's like Prozac or there. It's a chemical and it damages the brain. And it is said that the Nazis, which are socialists, put fluoride in the water in Germany and other countries to quell down any uprising and so on and so forth. Now, journalists are the enemy of the people. We know that. There are a couple of decent journalists, but they will never get anything published. Communism started off with journalists, that wonderful Marxist, Mark. He was a journalist. The world is full of socialism. Our governments, which we don't have anymore, we have a federal federation run by, at the present, SCOMO, almost a socialist, doing his best to comply with them anyway. Then we have the other states, Victoria, Sydney, New South Wales, that is, and so on and so forth. We know the states, all independent corporations owned and controlled by the federal corporation, which is owned and controlled by the U.S. corporation and now run by our dear friend, Mr. Biden. Another good example of The Walking Dead, and I don't mean that in disrespectful, Joe, you are, as, as it could be seen on reasonable grounds, not a very well man when it comes to memory loss and speech, et cetera, et cetera, cognizance. Sadly, it's true, it's there to be seen. But this man is not running the state. It's all run by the deep state. And we're run by the deep state. And that's probably one of the reasons SCOMO, as we call him here, I was going to call him President Morrison. <laughs> Mr. Morrison can't interfere with the states because they've gone back before 1900 when there were independent colony states. And it's only after federation when they came together, they were controlled by the, by the federal corporation, federal government, right? Now, all private companies. The whole world is private companies. When we are approached by these authorized officers, one has to question, without getting rude or breaking any rules or regulations, it's just as simple to cooperate to a certain degree. Who authorized them? There has to be an invested power by somebody. Well, that goes back to our constitution, which has been removed, not lawful. The queen's been removed, not lawful. Who gave them the authority? Now, another thing, a constable, all police are constables. Sergeants, inspectors, chief superintendents are all constables at law. But if you're a policeman and a policewoman, then you could be a constable. But if you're a police officer, officer says corporation, like CEO. So 
private, the police are private companies too. So are they breaking the law when they ask you to do something? How can you order, make a constable an authorized officer or an authorized person? That's a conflict of interest. You can't serve two masters. So therefore, somebody's breaking the law there. Now, when you're approached by a police officer, because there are no police men and women anymore, they've been removed, they're all private companies. What's the point of arguing? You have to realize these poor buggers are in a terrible state. They've been given orders which are not lawful. They have to obey them in order to keep the jobs. Some of them have been in that job for a long time and they know it. They've stressed to death and some have left. What's the point of arguing? Just give them your name and address. Don't argue with them. They've come from another argument somewhere else and it just builds up and you, you will end up bearing the blunt of the aggression and the built pent up frustration. Just cooperate. What's the point of getting arrested? When it comes to the enforcement of the fines, you're dealing with another private company, which uh, the common law court already has dealt with to a certain degree. And there's been some little, few changes there, but worry about that later on. The fines are not lawful. In fact, they're not even legal because they've been created out of, out of hot air by criminal politicians. And now we can say they're criminal politicians because all politicians, regardless whether they're in the two so-called preferred parties, are criminals. Now, why do I say that? Ignorance of the law is no excuse. Anybody who's aware that Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors have been removed, are guilty, not seen on reasonable grounds, but are guilty of treason and misprison of treason. Now, misprison means to conceal. You can conceal your identity. You can conceal a crime. And the fact concealing it is called misprison, and it is a, it is a crime. You can arrest anybody, a politician, a police person, or a police officer, because they are committing fraud and misprison of, misprison of fraud. They're covering up the fact they're a private corporation. That's fraud. They're guilty of misprison of treason. They know their oath. The attack wasn't worth the paper it was written on because Queen Elizabeth, the Queen of Australia, doesn't exist. So these people are guilty. And then when someone comes along and says in that so-called authoritarian position, says to you, ignorance of the law is no excuse. Well, then you've been left in a strange situation because on the section 458 of the Crimes Act here in Victoria, it changes in each state, but under common law or state law, federal law, you then can arrest without warrant these people who have found committing these indictable offenses. Now, you don't have to go dragging people to the ground to arrest them. You can place them under arrest, but nothing will happen in that fictional system. But under common law, if you arrest one of these people, you get the details. Then you can take a summons out against them in common law. As we have set up here in Victoria, a common law court, which has been running for a while now and is going to continue to run, not just by me, but the people. And there are a number of people now quite capable of running it without me. You can take a charge out and summon these people to mediation. If they fail to turn up the mediation, you can summon them to a court of their peers, a 12 man jury. And then they can be fined money. And then you, if you want to enforce that, then there's a number of ways you can do that in and out of the fictional system. At the end of the video, I will put up our email address for contact and the bank details for donations to the Common Law Foundation, which is controlled by two individuals. Spent $1,300 getting some shoulder patches with sheriff badges on them, deputy sheriffs, caps with, with sheriff on it and so on. And we are short about $500 for uh, metal badges, which we're getting made in Australia rather than getting them in the USA, which are extremely expensive, right, in the USA. Not too bad here. Anyway, talking about uh, backup from the men and women walking around or the persons walking around because they are persons and as a person, you're already dead. A deceased estate at law or a natural person, again, you're a deceased estate at law. And that goes back to the act of 1666 in London when it was a paper bull it came from originally and then it was converted into a law and it, it 
because it comes back down to possession, which we'll talk about in a second. But I've stopped calling people sheep, so now I call them just the walking dead because you're wasting your time. Unless you can get this message across. When the Whitlam government came in here, they were out in the wilderness for years and they got in. <laughs> Biggest mistake we ever made in people. And I was around when this this rat bag was around and Hawk. I remember, and in fact, I've met Bob Hawke a couple of times through Carmel Lawrence, Dr. Carmel Lawrence, that is, because I was quite friendly with her years ago, but she's a lovely lady. But anyway, Hawke was the greatest thing in chewing gum as far as I was concerned, and I'm sure a lot of people thought the same way. But that bastard destroyed this country. He brought out the Act of 1986, all unlawful and all under, underhand and all on lies, and had changed the Constitution, removed it, in fact, and got rid of the queen, a medicine, a republic, an unlawful republic, that is. And I had this conversation with a number of the Walking Dead recently, and these are respectable people, which you think would know better, but they don't. Education's got nothing to do with it. It's common sense. And we keep in the, the fact that we at seven, we reach the use of reason. We keep that reason in our head. We, we know that we've got immune, an immunity we build up immunity, but people have forgotten about that. They don't use common sense or reason. But anyway, to cut a long story short, it comes down to possession. Now, this notebook, that's in my possession. But what happens if I stole that notebook? If nine tenths of the law is possession. Possession is nine tenths of the law. I've asked this question to a number of young solicitors, and I've asked it to a very old friend of mine I've met recently, which is a barrister and works right across from the Supreme Court in Melbourne. If possession of nine tenths of the law, what about the other bit? Oh, never give that any thought. Well, that's exactly what applies to your land. <laughs> People say I own several properties and I rent them out and stuff. You know, you don't own them. And when people pay off their mortgage, they no longer get any documents to say that they own this land or they have ownership or title to whatever the case is going to be because it was removed when the queen went in 1986 with the criminal politicians in the Labour Party, and of course now Scormo has gone left wing. Journal journalists are the enemy of the state and it was a journalist that started communist, communism up in Russia. So journalists are bad news, they're all criminals. And we all know that uh, ignorance of the law is no excuse. So people are breaking the law left, right and center and they don't even know it. But do they? As again, ignorance of the law is no excuse. But anyway, our land, when the queen went, so did ownership of your land, the title. So possession you have, but the title you do not have. It belongs to the local government. Yeah. And they don't exist because those criminal politicians tried to change, try to change that by cunningness in with the referendums, cunningness in the signing, and the people, the wise people said no. So we're, we we have no local governments. They have a local government act, which is about as useless as the paper is written on. So when the Queen went, so did Feely Simple, which means now the council own your property. Now, a guy in Queensland, it's on my YouTube channel, if you look down way, way back, he was reading his newspaper and he saw his property up for sale. One of the neighbours helped him, he was 80 years old, his wife died, and uh, he obviously she was paying the bills, which in most houses that happens, and uh, he didn't pay it, and they, he saw his property for sale in the paper. One of the neighbors helped him and at 80 years old, a council accepted payments out of his pension every month for a tax. Now, <laughs> another friend of mine here, one of his best friends, I've met him. He discovered his property land. He was in dispute with the council over the land and he found his property up for sale behind his back. And of course they went down and sorted that out. So if that doesn't sting the, 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 the walking dead, I don't know what is. Because without, without our constitution, we've got very little protection. Journalists are the enemy of the state. Politicians are the enemy of the state. So it's just down to you and I, and hence the common law. And common law court is set up here running. We've had a little bit of success. We'll have some more. We need a little bit of cash. So at the end of the thing, as I said, we've got a a place where you can put that money into the foundation. And if you need some help down the track, we'll help you.
We're going to put some common law deputy sheriffs up. If you're an ex-army, ex-police, or you're a security guard with a, with a full security uh, firearm license, which means you have reached a, a good level of training, we would love to talk to you about becoming a deputy sheriff. Now, deputy sheriffs can arrest somebody they find committing an indictable offense, a serious offense, that is, under common law. You don't have to grab these people and take them to the police station or anything. You can issue them with a summons for mediation. And if they don't turn up, you issue with another summons before a jury of their peers, a 12-man jury, and let the courts take the case. And that's the people. That's not me. That's you and all the other men and women, which if you're a person, well, then you're already walking dead and you're not going to change your attitude. But anyway, listen, I, I hope I'm not wasting my time. I, I, I do appreciate the people who are making an effort out there to do the right thing. They're going to meetings. And as my friend Ben Gilroy said in, in the Ireland, he said, we're all trying to chop this down very, very tall tree, very thick base on it of corruption. Some people have got big axes, some have got little axes, some have got ones that really do no, no, no damage to this criminal tree, but at least we're all chopping it down. So let's get together and stop this bickering about who's, one crowd is doing this wrong and they're doing that wrong. Let's carry on what you're doing, but there's two different paths to the, to the same tree being knocked over, common law and in the fictional system, keep on fighting it. But let's get together, put a few dollars in our kitty. We need to have our presence seen and we need your help. Anyway, London of News sign off. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks to the people who put a few dollars in. We appreciate that. Let's hope I'm not wasting my time again. Bye for now.